Got it at a thousand PSI right now. 500? Okay. Multi sprayer brand. John Don has it as a Power Force 2, American made, Demavel. Very nice. Puts out a great pattern, too. See that? That's what we like about them. And pretty consistent. We're going to have to pre spray and clean that possibly twice. Just so everyone knows, you don't get that grease cut off of there in one pass most of the time breaking through it. One of Zach's favorite machines, isn't it Zach? The little buzz saw, 10 inch CRB. That's right. Zach, what'd you do? You cleaned it already. Zach, where's the fun now? I didn't know I was supposed to save it. You didn't know you were supposed to save it? Oh, and those hairballs too, we collect those. Yeah, oh, look at now he's stealing away. Oh, he's still got some in there. Whoa, good gooey, good gooey. All right, we decided we'll just take that on right now and blast the first layer of grease off. Boy wonder at the job site. Here the spinner's going. By the way, we just cleaned our filters, just so you know up here. So we just cleaned the filters out, double checked them. We had a little bit of debris. We didn't want to slow the spinners down and have good flow. Aaron says, look at that, Aaron says. Seventy thousand PSI. <laughs> He's at a thousand PSI at the van. And it's just hauling the mail. We'll still do another round just to get it all clean, clean, clean. It's got so much grease. They had a dishwasher overflow yesterday too, so you see a little bit of that foam. Their dishwasher uh, had an event. So besides the grease and stuff, we have dishwasher helping it out. This is fun. That's what we do. This is fun. <laughs> Erin says she got a bit of soil to it. Nice. Because of the grease, we're hitting it with a little, uh, well, we've got code red on here and we're hitting it with some sweet force too to help out. It just helps with the liquid solid. Makes it work a little bit better. And I see I got some gum here, so I'm gonna go get an agitator, Conway agitator, and some uh, Dissolve All, Harvard Dissolve All, which will be in that new spotting bag of ours. Let me go get that and get working on it. Okay, this is uh, Tom Conway's Devastator Agitator. That's really, it's laser taking off the edges. A couple different ways you can use and edges you can use on it. Got a clippy here we put on it. Right through the jet tool. That there you can use the jet wrench and even more importantly, bottle opener. So on this here gum, this is that dissolve all in some water. I'm just gonna put it on there. It's a delimamine. And you could use the jagged edge a little bit, to try to seriate and get the gum up. Pull it up and the edge of that tool a little bit just on an angle, or also you can use this edge, a little more scrubbing, back action. This one here is pretty old gum that's in here. Get it lubed up, so we're just doing the back side of that, and we're gonna rinse it. So now we got it all lubed up, making it go. So we'll rinse her out. We got something really weird here. We're not sure what that is to be in den 10, but um, I'm going to set the dissolve all more in a mist here. Sometimes you can use a tamping brush or another scrub brush on something that large. Here, just going to see what it'll scrape up and loosen up. And it's kind of like grease or oil, something in there. So now I'm using the back side of the scrubber too. All right, we're going to 
rinse these out. I think that all happened. We just took some more gum out over there. We'll rinse that. Rinse with a delimamine. Rinse them pretty good. Delimamines are harder to rinse out. That's why I like to mix with water. Almost half half. And when I need to grass it. That's way better. We had that one over there that's gone too. Making the path. It's gonna be bright. No doubt about it. It's gonna brighten it up a lot. Zack attack. I'll get out of the way, he's gonna run me over. Camera's not even doing it justice here. Too much colors the camera's trying to pick up, but it's really vibrant. Cool.